What's going on guys? My name is Nathan. Welcome back to another video on my channel. And today we're going to be reviewing a Killer Clowns toy. This is a... It's called a Reacher. Reachers. Reach out and grab some fun. It's right there on the box. This is Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Obviously that is Shorty. We got a little logo right there on the back. Boxing puppet. Uh, I just got this in the mail. They got it from Amazon for 40 bucks. It's from Syndicate Collectibles. Uh, I know absolutely nothing about Syndicate Collectibles. Uh, I googled them. They have a website that's under construction. They have an Instagram account that just has like some 3D rendering and some pictures of toys and stuff like that. But I, I, I have no experience with Syndicate toys. So I, I don't know anything about them. Uh, but to be honest, my first impressions of them is not very good. With you. First, let's talk about this packaging. First off, I'm not a pa I'm not a keep toys and packaging kind of guy. Uh, even if I'm not gonna play with them, I don't I don't I don't keep them in packaging. I usually take them out, put them on display. I think keeping things in boxes on a shelf just kind of I don't know looks a little tacky, a little ugly. I like having things out of the box and on display. You know, even if I'm not playing with them, I like to display them. But if you are the type of person to keep things in boxes. No, I'm not going to, no shame on the game. If that's what you want to do, that's what you want to do. Um, this is how I received it. So, right here on this side right here, like I said, came from Amazon. Um, this little window was was down like that. I don't know, but you can, I can reach in there. <laughs> and it's falling apart. You can tell that whatever they were using to hold this box together just wasn't working. The other side's fine. The other side is fine. It seems to be intact. Uh, the front's intact. One of my biggest complaints, still in the box, haven't opened it yet. Right there on the glove, you can see there's like some uh, white paint or markings or whatever on the glove. Not cool. Not cool, guys. But otherwise, I don't know. The packaging's kind of bland, to be honest with you. You got the Killer Clowns logo, shorty boxing punching on the front, the back. I do like that little shorty logo at the top there. But otherwise, I don't know, fairly bland. Also, if you're going to collect this there's uh, or display this on a shelf or try to keep it mint, there's just a sticker label right there on the side. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> but on, uh, otherwise, I mean, you know, like I said, not a box keeper. So, whatever. Let's open this bad boy up. Also, there's just a lot of, which is probably more to say about Amazon's shipping than anything their packaging is just a, a lot of like little tears folds bends things like that just if you're the type of person I don't know maybe you shouldn't buy from Amazon <laughs> okay yeah I already did that there we go oh, more tape tape everywhere the box is kind of flimsy but open it up look there's the window for that piece right there now, I did read one of the Amazon reviews. One of the Amazon reviews said that after five minutes of playing with it, it broke. So, uh, the toy is made in China. So, I mean, that's if that's any indication of what you can expect from this. Got some pussy ties here. Holes in the glove then. about to have some loud noises guys I am sorry for the loud noises you're about to have in your ears oh and oh we got tape tape everywhere in this thing oh there we go oh no one more twist tie one more twist tie sorry sorry for the noises guys <laughs> Twist it up. Am I not? I 
wish I had some more feathers on me. Right, let me just see here. There we go. There we go. All right. Jesus Christ. <laughs> All right. So here's the puppy. Um, right, I mean, right off the bat, the level of detail on the head is actually kind of awesome. I love the level of detail on that head. Come on, focus in on the head. <laughs> and, yeah, like I said, on the gloves itself, they're fine, but, you know, like I said, that, that white mark right there, not the best. Boom, there we go, look at that. I could definitely see how this would fall, how this would probably break after just a few minutes of playing. Let's look at the inside of it. It's just an arm. I mean, I don't know, if, if you've ever owned one of these types of puppets, then you probably already know what the insides are like. That's the triggers right there for the arms. Uh, they're a little stiff, but honestly, I would rather them be stiff than loose. Uh, the head kind of bobbles. It feels like it's like, yeah, it's like spring, like kind of like a bobblehead. Put that over your hand like that. And you got a, you got a boxing, uh, you got a boxing shorty. <laughs> Not too powerful of a punch, obviously. I do like this. I actually like this a lot. The packaging sucks, but... The toy itself is kind of awesome. I don't know how to display something like this. Um, I don't. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how. How you? I don't know how I'm gonna stand this up on a shelf. I'll have to figure that out. Um, I will say one in, one discrepancy right there. Red and green. I thought they were both green. I have the Spirit Halloween. Uh, shorty animatronic they came out with a couple years ago and they're both green I would have to I would have to see a picture of shorty from the movie to remember if it's green but I think they're both green in the movie I could be wrong that's really annoying those little scuff marks uh, I guess maybe some rubbing alcohol would remove that I don't know but yeah look at the level of detail on that face I, I, I love the head. The head is the best part of this thing, honestly. The head is incredible. For 40 bucks, if you're a Killer Clowns from Outer Space fan, I'd recommend it, honestly. 40 bucks free shipping through Amazon? I would, I would actually recommend it. They have a pumpkin head one, too. I would love to get the pumpkin head one. And they have another one that I think is supposed to be a Grim Reaper, like a generic Grim Reaper or a skeleton or something. I don't know if I would get that one. But I would definitely get the uh, pumpkin head one for sure. I love the pumpkin head franchise. And who doesn't love Killer Clowns from Outer Space? And it also looks like the gloves are spring loaded too. Yeah. Anyway, this is a yeah, this is a cool toy. Not not hyped on the packaging. If you're that type of person if you're a type of person that likes to keep things in boxes and, and keep things in mint condition, I don't know if the packaging's really worth it. it it's not cool enough, it's it's not unique enough. Um, depending on who you buy it from, if you buy it from another seller, maybe like uh, another retailer, maybe you would have better luck with the packaging or if you're able to get it like in store somewhere, I don't know if this is being sold in store anywhere. Uh, maybe you would have some good luck with it, better luck with it. But if you're just looking for a cool killer clowns from outer space collectible, I would highly recommend this. This is actually kind of cool. Um, I definitely see playing with it too much could probably eventually break it. Break the arms off. I don't know, maybe. I, it depends on how rough you are with it. I'm not being too rough with it. Um, and honestly, th this will go on a shelf and I'll probably never play, play with it again. Uh, I, I probably am going to film a couple YouTube shorts of me just having him punch toys and just see what happens. But anyway, yeah. Again, if you're a Killer Clowns fan, I would highly recommend this. This is a cool little collectible. And 
and uh, that's going to be it, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Have a good day.